be installing a diesel heater that's meant for RVs or camper vans or whatever. For the chicken coop, I'm gonna convert the diesel heater to run off of DC versus AC, which is a battery power, and DC being your household plug. I bought this little power supply, which will do that for me. And then I bought this little uh, Viver or Vever diesel heater. Uh, it's eight kilowatts, I believe, so it should be plenty to keep the chicken coop uh, really hot or just enough to keep it from freezing. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, unbox it. All right, so first is this uh, power supply. I got it off of Amazon. I will put a link in the description uh, if you want an affiliate link so you can help out with that. But um, it's basically just the metal box with some connections here. Uh, and it should convert it from AC to DC. Um, show you guys how to wire that up. Inside the box, we have the heater instructions. So this model comes in at two, five and eight kilowatts. I believe I got the eight kilowatts just because it was cheaper. I think it was around $130 Canadian. The instructions don't really tell you much and they're pretty bad. This is the diesel tank. This looks like the muffler. <clears throat> Not quite sure what that is. Assuming this is the heater itself. So the unit itself isn't that big, which is nice. Don't know which way is up. It does show it is 12 volts, but we will. Con but I will be converting that. Um, it's not that big. It's not that heavy. This is the control switch. Pretty sure it's supposed to be LCD. That could be wrong. And this. This looks like a bunch of piping. This might be the hot air out. Assuming this is for the outlet or the exhaust. Got a whole bunch of clamps. Looks like a fuel filter is included in this. Some wires. It's probably for the fuel line. This is a I'm assuming a fuel pump. This looks like a muffler cap. It's plastic though, I don't know how that works. Another inlet. All right, we're gonna assemble everything inside. We'll put it all together. We'll wire it up and convert it from AC to DC. I'll show you guys how to do that. Once we test it, we'll take it out to the chicken coop and I'll show you guys how to permanently mount it for outdoor. Got this uh, basic extension cord for outdoor use. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the end off so we can wire up the connections to the inverter. So just like household electricity wiring, you've got your live, or sorry, your live, your neutral, and your ground, and that should hook up the same on the inverter. So on the actual inverter, you can see here, so you've got the ground, the neutral, and the live, which again, like I said, Live is going to be your black one, white is going to be your neutral, green is going to be your ground. Hook them up to there. This is where you're going to hook the negative and positive sides of the leads running to the heater. That would essentially be your red or black 
leads for your battery. And then this little thing regulates the voltage, so you do have to check it with a voltmeter, make sure you're not outputting more than like 13 volts roughly, or maybe even run it to 12 volts um, to set it accordingly. I'm just gonna loosen these. Ground. White neutral. Black is your live. Essentially how you do it. Pretty simple. This kit has this bundle of wires. I'm just gonna go through them. The instructions that come with this are terrible. So let's just cut these and see what we got here. Okay, so this is obviously the leads that go to the battery, or in this case to the new inverter going to assume that these plugs work on various things here. So this controller, I guess for the heat or something, and plugs into this. I'm going to assume that connects to the heater somewhere, maybe the pump. This looks like it connects to the top of the heater. Yeah, so this is the uh, oil pump or whatever. So this connects to that. Alright, so I've had this thing mounted for most of the winter so far. I've had it tested. I mounted the fuel tank onto the side of the coop. These are the chickens, they're very loud. Um, I hooked up the controller here. And then the heater is behind this panel to keep the birds from going on it. It gets pretty dusty in here. Um, that's all dust, but I put the inverter right there. Don't know if you can see that. It's pretty dark and I apologize, but I have the two leads running right here. And then this is the heater. Turns out these are the four uh, vents to exchange the heat out. And this little plastic thing that came with it was actually the intake, fuel pump. And then I had to use that plate to put the exhaust out. And then I basically use it so it doesn't burn the chicken coop down. And then what I've done, I got the muffler just hanging out here. And then I've run an extension cord all the way to my shop back there to power on the unit. So it's actually been working perfectly for the few times I've run it this winter. And it kept the coop around 12 degrees Celsius, which is probably a little too hot for the winter. They could probably get too used to it. Um, 
yeah this little heater works perfectly fine this coop is fairly big um, it's not insulated and we have 12 chickens and it keeps it pretty warm in here I have a vent up there and a vent here um, and then they have their door that's open and it's automatic so it opens with the, um, the light and it keeps this thing pretty warm hello hi girls this is actually my favorite chicken. We don't name them, but she's the friendliest. 